That bug is so gross. Oh wow. Did I spray you? My hand is getting tired. It kind of That made it worse. Oh, they came out a little weird. Hey guys, it's Kenzie and welcome to Artist DIY. So I am in my backyard and I'm going to show you guys how to glow in the dark tie-dye and we're going to tie-dye some hoodies, sweats, and socks and we're going to have some fun. Tie-dye is super in right now. Everyone's doing it. I have so much tie-dye in my closet. Fuse actually sent me a bunch of things to use. So I have some paint. I have some puffer paint that's glow in the dark. Uh, a bunch of spray tie-dye, which is super cool. I've never used spray tie-dye, so I'm excited to do that. A bunch of rubber bands and some gloves so I don't get my hands dirty. So I'm actually uh, throwing a glow party. So this is gonna get you guys ready so you guys can participate in it. And it's super easy, like you can't mess up. So I'm super excited to do it. I'm just gonna scrunch it up and just put rubber bands around it. The inspiration behind all this tie-dye, uh, my song Exhale, the coloring for the video is very like neon and bright and fun. So I thought this would be super fun to do, inspired by the song. So I have this little ball here and it's like sectioning off a bunch of places. So I'm gonna start with the green. How does this even work? Oh wow, that's really bright. <laughs> Did I spray you? We're just gonna go for it. Wow, I'm gonna get it all over. So what I've been doing in quarantine, I've been doing a lots of arts and crafts actually with my family. I've been binging a lot of TV shows because I'm obsessed with Netflix right now and Disney Plus of course. I've just been like working out a lot, trying to exercise as much as I can because obviously I'm just sitting at home and it's pretty boring. I've been FaceTiming my friends non-stop. My mom took me to Rite Aid the other day with like a mask and gloves on obviously and I got so excited to go to Rite Aid which never happens. I just miss working, going outside and recording and seeing my friends and stuff but it'll be over soon so I'm making the most of it. I love arts and crafts. I do it non-stop. My whole room is pretty much an arts and crafts project. I do it all the time. This is why tie-dyeing is so much fun because you can just make it your own and my hand is getting tired. Normally what I do which apparently this is not what you should do but I unwrap it to see what it looks like. Not everyone does this but I feel like it's good so I can see what it looks like and if I need to add more I can. But this is what it's looking like. Oh, it's pretty cool. If you haven't tie-dyed before, a tip that I could give you is if it's too pigmented, which I like the color of this, but if it's too pigmented, all you have to do is run it under cold water and it'll take some of the color out and it'll make it like more faded. If I want more on it, I just scrunch up a little piece of it, put color on that, and then it looks like this. I'm just gonna lay this over here so it will dry. For this one, I don't know how I'm gonna tie this one. I think I'm gonna twist it. You can make them all look different by just like scrunching them differently. <laughs> oh, this one's a little tricky to do. I only put four on this one because it's a little tricky. It doesn't look the best. We'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna use this pink. This one's super bright. I think it'd be really cool. So usually what I do with my tie-dye is I leave it overnight, like outside, just laying in the sun. So it dries super fast and then you just wash it the next morning. This is super bright. This is so cool. My new song, I recorded it on tour last year. It was just me on the song. I never thought I was going to release it. And then Sia wanted to be on it, which was super awesome. And I'm so glad that she is because she made the song so special. It's my favorite song so far that I've done. And it was a really fun process. Hope you guys like it. Well, right now, I'm trying to finish this hoodie. It's super big, so it's hard to do. I honestly don't even know what's happening right now because I can't find the hair ties in it. So hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> All right. Oh, this will be cool together. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo this. I really hope that it turns out well. I'm a little nervous for this one. Kind of. Oopsies. Whoa, this actually looks cool. I barely have anything on the front though, so I'm just gonna scrunch it up and put some more color on it. And then it turns out like that. <laughs> the back is more color. I think the back looks cooler. I'm gonna write exhale on this. I have really bad handwriting, so let's hope it turns out well. <laughs> that made it worse. It's okay, that was good. Proud of myself. This is what I got. My handwriting is so bad but I'm gonna let this one dry also. Oh, I almost just messed that up. Okay, I'm gonna do some socks now. Socks are a little harder to do because it's really hard to like scrunch or do anything with it. What I do is I twist them and then put rubber bands on some sections, roll it in a ball like this and do it like this. These take like two seconds. <laughs> All right, there's the first one. And now we're doing the same thing with the other sock. All 
right, well, I'm gonna see what the socks look like. Oh, they're pretty cool. Uh, they came out a little weird, but it's okay. They're okay, not the best. So now I'm gonna paint an X on the shirt with this glow paint that I think would look super cool. Oh, wow, I really messed that up. <laughs> Okay, we're good. We're just gonna keep painting until it looks right. Don't judge. <laughs> it's a nice little X. Looks nice. I'm gonna put X's on the socks too. Wow, this actually turned out pretty cool. There we go. So here are some things that you can help prepare for the glow party. You can get these off of Amazon. It's super easy. I'll be posting links soon. We got some glow in the dark face paint, some glow sticks as well, some duct tape that you can use to make a dance floor or use it however you want. It's okay if you don't have any of the stuff because I will be sending out virtual goodie bags for you guys so you can have like backgrounds and print some things out so you guys can participate on the fun. This is how the first shirt came out that I did. Super cool. This is it like in black light. <laughs> Um, whoa, that's so cool. Um, this is the second one I did. Obviously, glow in the dark, super sick. Uh, the back looks cooler than the front. Um, and then these are the socks. Um, super bright, super cool. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I just tied the shirt in the back, um, to make it tighter. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys like it.